Hello all, welcome to my channel. Today I will demonstrate you how to download particular file from specific URL using download manager. Let's start with developing Android Studio project. First of all, you can click on start new Android Studio project. Then you can choose the empty activity. Then you can provide the name of your application. Here I am giving the name of my application is download file demo. Here you can choose the language and then you can click on the finish. Uh, before it loads the project, I want to clarify what are the basic advantage of using the download manager. If you are using the download manager, it performs all HTTP interaction on the background thread by default. And we don't need to create any thread. It handles the connectivity issues very well. Uh, so it retries the download if failures occurs due to any reason. So there are basically there are so many advantage of using the download manager. Uh, whenever you want to download any file from particular URL, first of all, you need a permission. So just go to the Android manifest file and add the permission. And that permission is related to users permission internet why because without internet we cannot download any particular file now i want to define some design whenever user click on button over here i want to download particular file so i will just click on show layout decorations then you can just uh, move drag and drop button over here then whenever user click on this button i want to download the file just you can give the name of your button. I'm just giving the button name is download. Whenever user click on this button, I want to download a file. So the button name is button. So let me move to the main activity file here. Whenever user click on this button, so I'm just writing the code for button dot set on click listener. I want to download a file. First of all, you need to understand that whenever you want to download a file, you need a two things. One is the download request and another is download manager. So let me define first request. So I'm just defining the variable request that is of the type download manager dot request is equal to here. You can write the download manager dot request here in URI dot parse. You just need to pass the path from where you want to download a file. So let me move to first my uh, Google Chrome. Here I have a one path that is related to Atmia University browser, right? So uh, I want to download that particular PDF file. This file that I this file I want to download from the internet, right? So I am just passing this path over here in URI string. Once you pass this path. Now, not only this, you can set different parameters over here. If this file is downloaded, what you want to write, what name you want to give to that particular file. So you can just set the title over here. I'm just giving the title that is Atmia Brochure, right? And you can just give the title, for example, Atmia Brochure 2020. Then you can set the description over here. You can just uh, give the description. I'm just giving the de description that is Atmia brochure downloading right then you can set the different parameters like you can set that uh, notification visibility whenever the file is downloaded do you want to uh, show the download uh, notification into notification bar yes then you can just set download manager dot request dot visibility you can set the visibility hidden but whenever you pass this visibility hidden then you need to take the permission from the user that is download without notification without that permission you cannot set the visibility hidden i'm setting that download manager dot request dot visibility visible then you can set here to which path you want to set this download file right so you can just set the destination uri if you want to set you can set the allowed network also suppose if you set that allowed over metered true it means the file will be downloaded via mobile network right it allows you to download the file on the mobile network uh, sometimes if you think that i want to allow via only wi-fi then you can set over here that is false not only this you can set the so many parameters over here once your request is done 
now you need to define an instance of download manager so you can just call get system service and here you need to pass the service i'm just passing the download service you can uh, see that this variable is assigned with the any data type i don't want to uh, assign it with the then any data type i want to assign it with the download manager so you can just uh, cast it to as download manager and this will be initialized as a download manager then you can just call download manager dot nq function that nq function returns the request of your download file right so you can just pass the request and it will return the request id which id you started downloaded so i'm just declaring one variable over here variable my download id and uh, you can just uh, assign data type that is long i will add the late initializer so i'm just adding the value that is zero here you can set uh, that dm.nq request function returns you a value that is uh, I'm assigning to the my download ID. What happens? See, uh, might be a chance whenever you start downloading, uh, so something else is also downloading in the background, right? So I'm just uh, tracking my downloading. So I want to show the notification to the user that your downloaded is completed. And whenever you want to make watch on particular action you need to register your receiver so i'm just uh, here after my button declaration button on set on click listener i'm just declaring one variable related to my broadcast so i'm just uh, calling the broadcast receiver here in broadcast receiver you need to implement the method that is on receive whenever the file download is complete i want to show some uh, message that is file downloaded successfully so you can just uh, declare one variable over here id is equal to now your parameter one is the intent so you can just call here p1 dot get long extra is the function in which you can pass download manager dot extra download id right and you can set the default id i'm just setting the default id that is minus one if my id equal equal download id what happens see uh, this is my i uh, request to the download manager for the download file and if my id after completion it means the file is downloaded if downloaded file id and my request id if both are same it means that my file download is completed successfully so you can just pass the message to the toast that uh, to toast dot make text here you can say the message that atmi brochure download completed right so that message i want over here you can just set the duration toast dot length underscore long and then you can call the so but this uh, broadcast receiver will not work until and unless you register this receiver for that you need to call the function that is register receiver in which you need to pass the two argument one is your broadcast receiver and second is in intent filter you need to pass the action for which action you want to call this on receive function so you can just pass here download manager dot action download complete what happens see whenever download manager dot action download is completed here my intent will be look for the id if my id is match with the downloaded id it means the request id then atmi browser download completed successfully and if id is not match it might might be a chance some other download completed successfully this is the way you can implement this right so let me execute my application whenever you execute your application be, uh, till my execution take a time i will explain you again that whenever user click on this button i'm just setting one request and i'm passing that particular request inside the download manager and once the download is successfully completed on receive i'm just matching with my request id if both are same then browser is downloaded completely successful here you can check see 
before I click on download, I want to show you where this file will be downloaded. So uh, here you can move to the files. Then you can click over here in downloads. There are no files available over here in downloads. I want to download a file over here. So I'm just uh, executing here. I'm just clicking on my button that is download. Whenever you click on download, here you can check on the notification bar. See here, Atmium Browser 2020 downloading is running on. Once my downloading is completed successfully, I will definitely get the message over here. See here, download manager is downloading a file. Once the downloading is done, you will get the message over here that the download file is successful. Once your file download is a successful, you can check inside this. You can check for the, your process is also see, uh, this much file is downloaded. And once the file download successful, see, Atmiya browser download completed, the message will be available over here. And then you can move to your file uh, files folder download and here you can check see 9.54 mb file here you can click on that particular file and see the browser is downloaded successfully over here so this is the way you can implement download manager into your application see uh, i downloaded my browser over here what i did i just pass a request over here in uri.pars you can pass the path then you can set the title i'm just setting the description notification visibility here you can set the hidden also here you can set the visible and do you want to allow it on the mobile network if yes then you can pass the true then i pass that particular request inside the download manager and i, I get the downloaded id uh, that id is my request right once the file is downloaded successfully i am getting the id also if my request id and my downloaded id both are same it means my download is completed and i am continuously watching on the action download complete right this is the reason why i register for the receiver so this is the way you can implement your application for the download particular file from the specific url that's it from my side if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you all